This is a full body strength class. We're gonna spend the next 45 minutes working the entire body. So you'll need some equipment today to include a weighted bar, dumbbells, handheld weights, um, a bench and a chair or a chair. We're gonna use that at the very end of our class. So if you don't have it right away, don't worry, you'll have some time to go grab that. And then a mat for coming down to the floor for our core exercises, as well as some pushing for, um, and support for our things like planks and push-ups. Let's go ahead and get started with a warm-up. Today's, or today's workout uh, consists of five blocks of work. All of our intervals are one minute, and then we have 20 seconds of rest in between. We'll have a 45 second rest between our blocks of work. So really fun stuff. And then at the end of our five blocks, we have a burnout session where we will do 30 seconds of exercises targeted for the lower body, upper body, lower body, core, and then upper body. Let's go ahead and get started, all right? Let's start with our feet. Hip distance apart, big breath in. Exhale, bring the arms down. Do that again. Make sure you fill up those lungs with air. Last one, hold the arms up here, press your hands straight up, drop the shoulders down your back, feel that nice stretch on the side body. Take a little bit of a lean, hold here. Come back to center, take it to the other side. Come back to the center. Roll the wrists as you lower the arms down to your side. Roll the shoulders up and back. Good. We're gonna work hard today. Are you ready? Let's turn side to side. Just to loosen up the spine. Pull the abdominals in and turn your hips. Bring your hands up about shoulder height here. Nice job. Take a reach up on the diagonal. Wake up those shoulders, the upper back as you get a stretch. Now roll the shoulders up and back here. Keep that chest lifted tall. One more time. Pause here in the center, reach your arms high. Bend the elbows, pull it back. Let's do this again. Inhale, reach your hands straight up. Exhale, pull the elbows back. When you reach your arms up, bring your arms to frame your jawline. Excellent here. Now singles here, you reach up, pull the elbows back. Your gaze forward, your knees soft. Contract the shoulder blades together as you slide the elbows along your rib cage. Two more times. Now on this one, reach up, pull the elbows to the side, hold here. There you go. Aim the elbows for your waistline. Engage the lats here, those big muscles that frame your back. One more time. Really nice, roll it out, shake it out, shake it out. Right here, bring your feet about shoulder width distance apart, slight turn out of the toes, engage the belly, hands here at the chest or on the thighs for support. We drop to squat, bend the knees, Press your hips back. At the same time, keep the chest lifted. Nice job, here. Press down into your feet evenly from the heel to the toe. Two more of these. Last one. Come down, hold here. Wait. Nice job. Rise, pick up your right knee. Now pick up your left. Take that squat between those knee lifts. Draw the knee up towards your chest. One more each side. Excellent, hold it here. Rise, roll the knee open to the side. Take your time. Get a little bit of movement for that hip joint. Awesome. One more each side. Really good. Bring your feet together, step your right leg back. Hold it here, bend your knees just a little bit. Stand up tall, reach your hands up. Bring your hands to your left hip and straight up again. Just a gentle twist. Feel that stretch on the front of your right hip, your right thigh. Pull your belly in tight, hands towards your left hip. You'll see this movement here again in our first block of work. Two more. Really nice. Hold it here, hands to hips. Go ahead, drop into an easy lunge. Nothing crazy, just bend both knees, rise up. Excellent work, two more. Last one. Really good pause, step that leg in, switch it out, take the left leg back, plant that foot, chest lifted, slight bend in knees, hands overhead, pull the hands to the right hip. Rotation here in the upper body, work in the core, good mobility for the spine, all the while getting that stretch on the front of the pelvis, the front of the leg, squeeze your inner thighs for balance. Two more here, please. 
Excellent. Hold it here. Hands to hips. Bend and straighten the legs. Good. Working those legs. Getting a little bit more action for them to wake up. One more time here. Pause here. Step it in. Nice job. Shake out those legs. Roll out the shoulders. Crisscross your arms here. Just gently swing. Let them cross one over the front other. Alternate which one is on top. There you go. Nice work. Pause here. Shoulder rolls back. All right, let's get into our workload. Again, five blocks of work. Each exercise is one minute long. All right, we get 20 seconds of rest in between. And between our five blocks, we have a longer break of 45 seconds. At the end of the workout, we're gonna do a burnout session of 30 second drills for each body part or each um, body range. So let's go ahead and get started. Our first block of work is squats, rows, side squats, some abdominal flexion, and then bicep curls. So we'll start with your bar, your weighted bar. If you do not have a weighted bar, please just use dumbbells. The bar will go up and rest onto your upper back. Dumbbells can be held in your hands, down at the side, or either between your knees. Bring your feet about shoulder width distance apart to start with. One minute of squats, three, two, one, let's go. So I've got the timer here on the lower right hand portion of your screen. So you can see how much time you've got left in each workload. This can help to aid in your efforts today, as well as if you decide to make some adjustments in your weight. So how is this feeling? Drop your weight down evenly between both knees. Make sure your feet are flat to the floor. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and keep your chest lifted so your spine is nice and straight. Really good. You don't necessarily have to go to the rhythm of the music. You can go slower. Just go to a speed that feels comfortable and controlled for you. And then find that range of motion that works for you. Let's breathe it out. Almost there. Squeeze your glutes. Three, two, and one. Now, carefully release that weight. All right, we've got a 20 second break. Shake it out. Our next exercise are rows. So you'll bring your feet hip distance apart. You can use dumbbells to row here. I'm going to use my bar. Up to you, go ahead and get in that position. Overhand grip if you're using the bar. Three, two, one. Now bend your knees, press your hips back. At the same time, you lean your chest forward. Draw your elbows straight back and pull that bar towards your sternum. If you have dumbbells, pull the dumbbells up and back just towards your waistline. Feel that squeeze here in the center of your back. Nice work. Continue to draw the abdominals in. This will help support your back. While we are working the back muscles, we're also straining them by leaning forward. So the stronger you can gauge your core, the more support you give your lower back. 10 seconds to go. Let's do it. As we're working in blocks of five, go ahead and pause, take a rest. You do each exercise only once. So that's kind of a nice thing to know, right? One time with each exercise, we go into something different. 10 seconds to go, side squats are next. Option to wear the bar or use dumbbells. Go ahead and get in that position now. Start with your feet together, please. Chest lifted. Step out with your right foot squat. Come together. Other side. So as you transfer your weight side to side, this stresses the outer hips as well as the stability and balance from your ankles to your knees. I know, right? Fancy. <sighs> Keep that chest up. If you have the bar, pull your elbows slightly forward. You'll feel this engagement helps to lock that bar against your back. Yep. Bend your knees. Drop down evenly between both feet. Come on, y'all. Press down into your feet to rise. Squeeze the thighs. And tighten up the back of your legs. Oh yeah. 
We've got this, y'all. Three, two, even out. One. Nice job. Go ahead, remove that bar. You'll need your handheld weights next. Now listen. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Feet together. The lateral lean. Step back with the left leg. Twist to the right. Repeat, okay? Let's go. Lean to the right. Step back. Twist to the right. Reset. Lean. Set. Twist. Yep. We'll spend 30 seconds with this side and then switch to the other. Now here's a variation. You can bring your hands up here and then drop them down. Yeah? That's always fun. I forgot what I was doing, y'all. Three, two, one, hold. Let's switch and do the other side. Now, oh, lateral lean, then twist as you step back with the right leg. So it's a little bit of brain training, right? Whew. I want you to think about zipping up your waistline and cinching it tight the whole time. Yeah. And breathe. Speed is not necessary to make this work. Go ahead and stop. Nice job. All right. 20 second break. Wipe the sweat off my brow. Okay. We've got a supine bicep curl, so with dumbbells here. Palm face up, the palms stay up. And we do a front raise. All right, so select your weights here. Handheld weights, please. Down with your feet a distance apart. With the bicep curl. And then a reach forward. As you reach forward, keep the elbows slightly bent. Thumbs remain rotated out to the side. And drop those shoulders down your back. Soften your knees and stand up tall. Can you remove any sway out of your body? Yes, you should be able to wiggle your knees. Yes, of course, of course. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, hips over ankles, right? So we've got this nice, tall, vertical alignment in the spot, in the skeletal system. This will allow you to just work as needed. Nice work, everybody. That front raise can be slightly out on the diagonal or straight forward. It depends on what feels best in your shoulder. Keep working for three, two, one. Awesome job. All right, 45 second break, everybody. This is your opportunity to grab some water, shake it off, make adjustments. I got this thing here that's digging into my head. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna grab a sip of water. On to block two, listen up. Sumo squats, then push-ups down on the ground. We've got donkey kicks down there. We're gonna do crunches, bicycles, and then push presses in a standing position. So we start standing and we hit the deck. So have your mat nearby. All right. How are we feeling? Hopefully energized, right? Go ahead and set yourself up for your sumo squat, either with the bar or dumbbells. Feet wide, toes out, and begin. So you want to drop evenly between the knees, and then push down into the feet to rise. Yeah. Draw your knees open. It's very, very common to relax the thighs and let the knees buckle in. You see what's happening here, right? Pay attention to where your knees go. A proper sumo, the knees are gonna draw out will not feel it in the knee at all, done properly. You're gonna feel it on the muscles, on the outer part of your hips, on the inside of your thighs, and on the underside of your pelvis, so where your glutes meet your hamstrings. Yeah? Come on. Let's do it. Breathe. Drop on down. Keep that chest up and lifted. Three. Two and one. Ha ha. Move that off. All right. Grab your mat and bring a dumbbell with you down to the mat. Listen up. Push ups are first. Push up is a push up is a push up. You have one minute to do push ups, and that's it. No more push ups, okay? So find your push up position, begin here. Now, whatever position you choose, 
for your push-ups. Let's bring the hands outside of the shoulders. Open up your fingers really wide on the floor. Suck in your belly, squeeze your thigh. Knees down, it looks exactly the same. Yes? Bend your elbows out to the side and aim them slightly back towards your hips rather than directly out to the side. If you need a little less, walk your hands closer to your body so your knees stay beneath your hips. How's it going, friends? Come on. It's a long time, isn't it? We're into our final eight seconds here. We can do it. So strong. Three, two, one. Woo! Shake it out. Roll the wrist. Open the chest. This is when you're gonna need that dumbbell. Donkey kicks here. All right, friends. On your hands and knees, bring the dumbbell behind your right knee. Squeeze it here. Hands under shoulders. Lift up your right heel. Keep the squeeze and begin. 30 seconds here. Press your right heel in the direction of the ceiling. The trick is to maintain a squeeze on that dumbbell so it doesn't roll off to the side. Now we'll do 30 seconds here. We'll switch and do the other side. Switch is quick, you have about three seconds. Get that done. Three, two, one here. Switch out, dumbbell behind the left knee and begin. 30 seconds here. Yes, flex your foot. This can help encourage that squeeze of your hamstring. That's the muscle that's engaging to hold that dumbbell in place. So if you're thinking, ooh, why am I getting a little cramp up in there? That's why. Breathe here. Stretch it out if you need to. Shake it out as best you can. Just keep moving. Three, two, one. Nice job. Go ahead and ditch the weight. Come onto your spine. Core is next. We start with crunches here, so feet on the floor, knees bent, fingertips behind the ears, eyes up on the ceiling, pull the elbows wide, pull the navel in so you press your hips flat. 30 second crunches here, begin. Lift the shoulders away from your mat. Keep your eyes lifted towards the ceiling and keep the chin up off of your chest, right? Exhale as you lift. Option here to do your crunch with, with your knees lifted up and over your hips. Keep the elbows wide, friends. And breathe. All right, transition here, bicycle. Elbow towards your opposite knee. Now, if you check it out, I'm extending one leg at a time here. Option, tap one foot down in between. Yes. Press your fingertips into your head. This will help support the neck muscle, right? Do it, do it. How's it going? Are your hips still flush to the mat? Are you rolling side to side? Finish it out here and rest. Good work. All right, friends, up to your feet. We have push presses next. I'm going to do this with the bar. You can do it with the dumbbell. Feet, shoulder width distance apart. Dumbbells, hands, shoulder width distance. Check it out, bend your knees. Push the weight up overhead. If you've got dumbbells, it looks exactly the same. When you bend the knees, bend your arms, aim your elbows down towards your knees, and then drive into the legs. Push the weight up overhead. Breathe. Pull the belly in tight. Nice work. You've got it. Be careful that you do not lean forward when you bend the knee. Keep the chest lifted. If necessary, make it a smaller bend in the knee. Ten seconds remain. Stand up tall. You got this. Three, two, one. Woo! 
45 second break, well deserved. All right, good job everyone. Wait for me. Grab some water, grab a little towel. It's warm here today, so. Be careful, make sure you hydrate well. All right, our next exercise block. We have lunges, side raise, front raise, monster walks. We come down to the mat for hollow back crunches and chest slides. Lunges are first. Grab your choice of weight. I'm gonna use dumbbells. Let's start with the feet together. Send the right leg back and just lunge here. Now, with your right leg back, your heel should be lifted. Flaxing your left foot to the floor. Squeeze your shoulders together behind you. Option here, weights can be at the chest instead. On the hips, on the shoulders. Come on, bend the knees, drop down into that lunge. Three, two, switch. Send that left leg back and begin. Come on. Can you keep your navel pulled in tight to cinch up that waistline throughout the whole move here? I hope so. How are these weights feeling in your hands? Right? Feel free to move them as you see fit, friends. Totally up to you. You can add more if you want. Right? Totally up to you. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Keep those dumbbells, please. We're going to move here. Side raise, front raise. Ah, another 10 seconds. I love these breaks. Breaks are so needed. Let's start with feet together. Slight bend in knees. Elbow slightly bent. Go ahead and begin. Draw the arms out to the side and then reach the arms forward. Now, when you reach the arms forward, keep that bend in the elbows, friends. I'll turn slightly here so you can see. I do not actually change the angle in my elbow very much from side to front. Now, if this brings pain to your joints, then bend the arms, right? The longer the lever, the more intense the work is going to feel, okay? So the further you get those dumbbells away from your body, the more you're gonna feel this in your shoulders and your upper back, as well as your core. So, keep that in mind. Good. Stand up tall. Breathe. Can you lift up even taller? I know. You're only as tall as you are, but I know you can think taller than that. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Rest. Woo! No weights. For this next exercise, no weights needed. It's super fun. Said no one. Monster walk. I want you to think low. I want you to think creepy. Okay? Let's bring the feet at least shoulder width distance. Bend the knees. Get into this little crouch squat position. Tiny steps. Move to your right about five steps and then come back to your left. Now you gotta count it yourself. Depending on the space you've got here, you might only do two steps side to side, right? And that's okay too. You can do three, you can do 10. We have quite a bit of time to take up here. Now the key is to stay low the whole time. Are you low? No creeping up. So you gotta squeeze the shoulders together in the back. Chest is lifted. Yes, chin level with the floor. Staying low. That's constant engagement here on the thighs. The glutes, active work for the outer hips. <sighs> Side butt, yay. Woo, are you feeling this a little bit? Keep it going, come on. Final few seconds here. Three, two, one. Nice job, shake out the legs. All right, come on down to the mat. Hollow back to a crunch. Check it out, check it out. We lift, hollow back, and then crunch. Okay, one full minute of this. Start with your arms and legs straight. Hollow back, you're gonna lift your shoulders, lift your feet, and then bend, reach down for your ankles. Hollow, reach for your ankles. Now, option, keep one foot grounded, 
for your hollows and then do the crunch, right? Hollow backs are intense. If you feel pain, stop doing that, <laughs> okay? Should not be painful. Keep going, friends. Keep going. Breathe. Again, reminder, for your hollows, it can be one leg lifts. And your crunches, your feet can remain on the floor. Your hands can come behind your head. Breathe. Let's do it. Almost there. Three, two, one. Nice job. All right, stay down here on the floor. Grab your dumbbell. Test flies are next, okay? We're gonna, the position is going to be on your back. Knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Arms up overhead or over your chest. All right, get in your position here. Let's go. You wanna open those arms. Stretch the dumbbells away from the center of your chest. And breathe. Keep a slight bend in your elbows, please. Right, we don't want to overstrain those that joint or those tendons that run through it. So this can help. Keep it going, friends. And breathe. Feel that squeeze. Tighten up your chest. Right up through the center. Loosen your grip on your weight and push through the palms of your hands. Good work. Three, two, and one. Release your dumbbells, take your time, and then come on up. You got a break here. My hat keeps falling off. Here, real quick. All right, friends. We are moving into our fourth block of work. Now, our fourth block of work is going to be done completely on the mat. So what you're going to need down here um, are your dumbbells. I am going to elect not to use my my bar in this one because it's a little bit cumbersome when I'm down there. We've got hip bridges and Y raises on our knees and then kneeling tricep work. So come join me here on the floor. Knees bent, put the weights on your pelvis and then lift your hips up and down. All right. I want you to push down into your feet, squeeze your bum, drive into your heels, and lift your pelvis up and away from the floor. You ensure that your toes are pointing straight forward, right? They're not turned in, they're not turned out. Keep a little bit of a squeeze on your inner thighs. Tighten your shoulder blades up against the mat to support your rib cage and breathe. Come on. Squeeze everything in the back side here. Hamstrings, glutes. Tighten up your lower abdominals. You got it. Come on. Breathe it out. Three, two, one. Awesome job, everybody. Go ahead and release those weights. Come on to a kneeling position here. And I want you to bring your right leg forward, your left knee down. Dumbbells in hand, lean over your right thigh. Palms start down by your right ankle. Rise through the back of your arms to make the shape of a Y. And you do want to actively lean forward over your leg. Yes? Continue here, come on. Palms face down. In the 10 seconds, we're gonna switch the legs. Yep. But continue the raise in the arms. We'll go ahead and switch out the legs. And then pick up those arms. How's it going? That's a tough one, isn't it? Here's an option. Turn the thumbs up and rise here. Same angle, that Y shape. 
Same slight bend in the elbow. Same lean forward in the torso. Might feel this differently in the shoulders. Three, two, one. All right, friends. Back to the hip bridges, but it's one leg at a time. So listen up, lay on your back. Take out your left leg straight. Weights if you want them on your pelvis. Right knee bent, right foot on the floor. Push into your right leg. Lift up your hips. Keep the left heel down, but the left knee lifted. Three, two, one. Let's go. Now the trick here is as you lift the hips, be mindful, does your left hip stay down? And are you lifting on a diagonal? Or squeeze. Use all the strength you've got in that right glute, that right hamstring, to lift up both hips evenly and together. Yes. Woo. Three, two, one. Switch out the legs. Right leg straight. And begin. Press into the left foot now. Pick the hips up and away from your mat. You've got it. Again, engage your shoulder blades into the mat. Come on. Keep lifting, keep pressing those hips up high. Three, two, one. Good job. Go ahead and release the weights. Take your time coming up. We're gonna go into planks here. Side plank with a thread the needle. So onto your right elbow, elbow beneath the right shoulder. Legs can be straight and extended. I'll show you what this looks like. Lift the hips, hold. Take your left arm up. Wrap the arm beneath your rib cage. Drop your left shoulder to face the ground as you do that. Option here, bend your right knee. And everything else is the same. Yes? Come on, how's it going? Yeah? You got this. Take breathers when you need to. Make adjustments as you see fit. Ooh. Let's do the other side. I don't think that gave me the split. Right here. Left elbow beneath the shoulder. And bring that arm up, down, and around. Again, the other option. Left knee is grounded. Come on. You got this here. Nice work. Three, two, one. Woo! Yeah. All right, friends. Our last exercise in this block of work is kneeling overhead tricep extensions. So both knees will be down. One or two dumbbells in hands. Keep your toes down. Bring the weights up over the head. Eyes forward. Bend the elbows and straighten the arms. Now you can keep the weights together behind your head. That's fine. You can separate the weight slightly, if that feels better, right? Personal preference. What do you feel like you have control? I want you to take your belly, tighten it up, and then pull your tailbone down slightly. Feel the engagement here in the abdominals. That's gonna help lock everything up for you. Breathe. You've got this. Come on, come on, come on. We're going all the way, this whole minute. Shake out your arms if you need to. You can always bring the arms down by your side and tricep press back. But guess what, we've both got seven seconds to go. Finish it out. Punch your hands up. Three, two, one. Woo! Ay, 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 ay. All right, take a break, friends. You got 45 seconds to yourself. Every time you told me my opinion was wrong. All right. Try to make me Get that up and out of the way. All right, our last set of work. Lateral lunges with a side lift. Dumbbells for that one, okay? Half moon with a press. Then we've got lateral lunges with a side lift on the other leg. We'll come down for our last two exercises of cardio. And plank up down. All right. All this plank stuff, Erna. It's good for your chest and your shoulders. Good for you. All right, let's go ahead and begin. 
dumbbells in hand. Let's keep the right leg anchored. Lunge here to the side and then pick up the left leg. All right, your hands can frame the leg as you lunge. You can bring the weight to your hips. You can bring the weight to your chest or shoulders. Now here's the thing I want you to think about. As you lift that leg up and away, can you hover it just a moment, right? Squeeze the shoulders together behind you. Oh man. Really bend that knee when you land into that lunge and push off of it to rise up. Nice work, everyone. We're almost there. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Our next exercise is for shoulders. You'll start with your feet together or hip width distance apart. Half moon overhead into a shoulder press, into a release. Palms will face forward the whole time. All right, three, two, and one. Go. Your shoulder press, arms will bend out to the side. Make nice right angles, yeah? With those arms, those biceps, the forearms. And then you'll release it all the way down to the side. With your feet together, this is a more narrow base, so it requires more balance and work out of your core. The wider you have your feet set, the more stability your hips, shoulders, and back have. Okay? How is it going? Take breaks when you need to. Shake it out, friends. Shake it out. There's no extra gold coin waiting for you if you just keep powering through, right? Especially if you need that little breather. Woo! You've got three, two, one. All right. I'm gonna take that lateral lunge and side lift now with your right leg. So we're gonna plant that left leg firm. Woo! Let's just shake out the shoulders for a moment. Yeah. All right. Ready and set. Let's go. Right leg steps, right leg lifts. So take your first few. You're gonna figure out, you know, what is it that you wanna do with your arms? For me, <laughs> I never really kind of figure that out until about halfway through. So play with the different places you can put your hands, right? You can always do this without weights in your hands and just place your hands on your hips or your shoulders. Are you hovering that leg, even for half a second? I hope so. Pick it up, hold, then lunge. Working the inner and outer thighs. Working the hamstring, the glutes. You guys, all of it, everything. Hopefully you're feeling it. Yes? Three, two, one. All right. Come on down to the mat. Core work is next. All the way on your back here. Start here. On your back. Right leg up, left leg down. Reach up with your shoulders, lift them off the floor, switch your legs. Now you notice the upper body stays still. Shoulders are rounded, the upper back is off of your mat. The legs are moving in an L shape. Option, one foot touches the floor. It's a lot of work, you friends, my friends, but I want you to keep working. Take those little shifts, those changes, modifications, you can make it into more of a stretch by reaching up, grabbing onto that top leg. <sighs> Come on, you got it. Let's work. Keep those legs mostly straight. If you lower the foot to the floor, that's when you bend it. <sighs> Otherwise, the legs are extended. Strong, strong. Three, 
two, one. Woo! All right, stay down here. Our last one minute interval. Plank, up, down. So we're gonna start on the elbows. Halfway through, you'll switch which arm you lead with, okay? So let's get there. <sighs> Can be done on the knees or on the toes. Let's begin. Pick one hand, lead with that one as you move. Can you keep your back and your shoulders nice and still? as level as you can. Send your gaze slightly forward. Come up. This is an upper body and a core exercise. Three, two, one, switch. Take the other arm down and then up to your hands. Breathe. On your knees. This can, might be just enough difference to let you keep rolling right through. I know it feels good to me. Come on. Let's finish it together, friends. Three, two, one. All right. 45 second break. We've reached it, the end of our blocks. Now we're going into the burnout session. So each body part that we focused on today, Legs, upper body, legs, core, upper body. We get a 30 second burn on each of those. And we're done. I know, two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes left. We can do it. We can do it. So we're gonna start with legs. Listen up, listen up. No weight. No weight. We're gonna take this in a squat lunge format. So please, start with your feet. Shoulder width distance apart, squat, right leg back lunge, squat, left leg back lunge. Yep, let's go. Now we go 30 seconds right into the next 30 seconds of work. So stay with me, okay? Right here, right here. You got your final nine seconds. You're gonna come down to the mat. Plank position in three, two, one, plank position, listen. Reach forward, right arm, and then left arm, right? Keep your hips down, hold your plank. It's like you're trying to high five somebody that's standing in front of you, yeah? You can do this with one or two knees down. Keep that belly in. Line up the hands directly under your shoulders. Come on, come on. Three, two, one, right up to your feet. Feet together, pulse it. Drop your hips down, pull the knees together. Sit a little lower, yes, come on. Feel that little burn in the quad, it's good for you. Quad next, we get to Russian twist. Woo, three, two, have a seat. Feet down or feet lifted. Twist it out here. Legs together. Turn your chest. Come on. You got this. Your feet can be down, friends. But twist your upper body. Yeah. Chest over the thighs. Let's go. Let's go. Tricep dips are next to finish out our workout. Three, two, hands down. Lift up the hips, let's go. Bend and straighten your arms here at your side. Option, hips down, lean back over your wrists. Come on, come on. How is it going? Fingers should point towards your feet, shoulders back away from your chin. Come on, drive into your palms. Three, two, one, have a seat, Woo. legs go straight, arms reach forward, and hold, yeah, good work, inhale, bring your arms up, Woo. twist, look over your left hip, pull the left shoulder back, 
Sit up nice and tall. And then carefully move your hands to the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back to the center. Stretch forward one more time. Nice stretch for the hamstrings, your lower back. Oh yeah. Turn out the toes. Keep those legs extended and straight. Feel that stretch move up on the side of your hips and thighs. Good, slowly rise. Bring your feet together, knees open to the side. Move your feet close towards you. Hold on shoelaces or ankles, rise tall. Breathe. And just let the, the position of your body here allow some openness in the hips. If you have more to give, go ahead and lean forward slightly. Feel that stretch on the inner thighs. Maybe even a little bit on the outer hips here. Use your arms to pull. Yes, good. Carefully rise. Good. Plant your left foot, cross the right ankle over your left knee, hands down behind you. Just hold. You can stay. You can even lift up your hips and then press your hips towards your left heel to deepen the stretch. Feel that on the outer part of your right glute. Carefully reset, release. Good. Release it out. Let's take the left foot over the right ankle. Stay. Option. Try it out. Lift the hips and then press your tailbone towards your right heel. How did you do? Pretty good, I hope. Yeah. Go ahead, release. Shake out the legs. Bring the hands behind you. Fingertips in. Hands flat, straighten the arms, roll the shoulders back, and then push your chest towards the ceiling. Get a nice stretch across the chest, the front of the arms, and your shoulders as well. Woo. Carefully release, soften the arms, wrap your fingers behind the back of your thighs, and then round here. Tuck your chin, round your spine. Good job. Carefully rise, shoulder rolls. Come on up to your feet. We'll meet here. Take the left leg forward, right leg back, bend the knees. Pull the hips forward, but keep your right knee bent, right? So you're gonna feel the stretch right here. Hopefully, and hopefully it feels good. Take your right arm up. Exhale, lean towards the left, right arm overhead. Unwind and switch. Left leg comes back, bend the knees, pull the hips forward, pause, feel it out, make adjustments as you need, and then slide your left hand straight up, ease it over the top of your head. Pull that left shoulder back. Good. Release, step it in, shake out the legs. Let's take a big breath in. Thanks so much for coming and working out with me today. Working hard, roll the shoulders back. I look forward to seeing you again. Have a good rest of your day.